If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try the question on your own before moving on. Perhaps we can draw a picture first to get the problem started. So here we have a positive charge on the interior of the cell. Because the question noted there is a potential difference of 90 millivolts, we can call the interior of the cell 0 millivolts and the exterior 90 millivolts. That way the potential difference is indeed equal to 90 millivolts. Now ordinarily a positive charge would not move spontaneously from a lower potential to a higher potential. That would be like asking a ball to roll up a hill. It just doesn't happen spontaneously. So in order to accomplish the movement of the positive charge to the exterior of the cell, we must input some work. And that input work is simply equal to the charge multiplied by the potential difference. We've already noted the potential difference is 90 millivolts. We do have to make sure we convert that into volts by multiplying it by 10 to the minus 3. So that would be the standard unit that we'll use. For the charge, we are told that the sodium ion has a plus charge on it. Presumably that means plus 1. And so that would mean the charge is a positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. Note that we have to use a charge of coulombs. We can't just use plus 1 because that's a non-standard unit. So we can plug in the charge and the potential difference in their standard unit form. And when we compute that, we should get approximately 1.4 times 10 to the minus 20. And then the unit for work will be the unit of energy, which is joules. So that is indeed the correct answer. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel so you could stay tuned for additional videos. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.